Hi, my name is Len, and I'm one of the judges of Battle of the Quarantine Bands. So, for today, I was asked by the organizers to speak in behalf of the band Fictitious. So, um, we were asked whether uh, what is good about their entry. Okay, so uh, number one that I noticed about uh, the entry of Fictitious. Um, number one, I just want to song because it's built up. Siya. You know, uh, merong drama yung song. So, napaka-importante ganun sa kanta, no? Kasi if you're going to do a song na jumpy and uh, nakaka-excite, maganda yung ginawa nilang uh, way ng pagbuo ng kanta. You know, nakakakuha kagad ng attention. So, that is really important sa isang, uh, sa isang kanta. Now, uh, like I said, you know, it's jumpy. So, meaning that nag, uh, nag-pick up yung pace and then nakaka-excite yung beat. So, if you think about it, it sounded like parang maganda siyang theme song para sa, you know, Olympics or, you know, it's like, uh, it's like a song uh, almost the same as like Miami Vice, you know, so, kasi because of the beat of the drums. So, meron siyang uh, drama. So, that's what I like about the song na, na entry nila. Another thing is that um, maganda yung theme, no? Kasi doon pa lang sa lyrics nila. Ako ay Filipino. Well, every all of the bands were given a theme, you know, para magpa, you know, para to follow and submit their, you know, their songs, you know, in this uh, quarantine bands. And then nakuha nila kagad yung, you know, the main ingredient, the word Filipino, you know? Uh, madali kagad maka-relate yung audience, okay? And um, because of that, I think na balance nila yung ano eh, yung uh, yung sa kanta, may English part, may Tagalog part, so everybody can relate to it. So I think yun naman siguro yung maganda doon kasi ang kung ang hangarin niyo ay magtawid ng you know ng uh, ng uh, message, then you always find a way on how uh, you can relate your audience. So napaka-balance lang ng ginawa nila. So another one is the rhythm section. I noticed that the rhythm section they did uh, very well. Um, kung ano yung assignment nila sa bawat isa, yun talaga yung contribution ng bawat members. The drums, the rhythm, the lead, the bass. Okay? Uh, there was a part na you should do na mag accorde ka lang, you know, and then they really played their role. Okay? Even for the lead part, malinis. Okay, and then uh, maayos, and then uh, for the rhythm section, for the end, uh, the intro, maayos lang, pose, pose sa bass. So, nakakahinga yung kanta pag ganun yung mga, uh, mga band members, no? So, napakaganda ng, uh, uh, ng approach nila doon. Um, also, what I noticed that yung sa isang uh, parte, siguro kaya gumanda yung, uh, yung, uh, yung sa song, no? yung foundation ng song is because of the yung pagkaka-laid down ng drum tracks. Okay? So, yun lang talaga yung goal nila. It's like parang uh, kailangan maging exciting, kailangan maging jumpy. So, I think yun na rin siguro yung na pagkasunduan uh, ng banda. Kaya, they were able to, you know, uh, to uh, uh, build this song. Ano ba yung pwedeng ma-improve? Uh, well, if you have watched the video, I think it's obvious naman on what happened. It's like when... You know, at the beginning, okay sila, you know, maganda, may drama, you know, nagpo-progress. Kaya lang, uh, you will notice that there are some parts na, you know, na parang minadali, okay? And that is usually common to uh, sa mga bands na nagka-cram. Uh, and then, uh, that's why, you know, uh, pag mga recording na ganyan, you should really finalize everything. I mean, at home, you should finish your homework, kung ano yung task mo, tapusin mo na, and then you go to the studio and record it. Okay? So, dapat ganon. Uh, dapat uh, hindi kayo tumutugtog or nagre-record ng unrehearsed. Okay? If you do it, uh, pag nagrehearse kayo ng one or two or three na practices, dapat mas marami pa para mas pulido. Okay? So, isa pa sa katangi ng, ng banda, dapat they... They should know to identify. Eh, eh, they should know how to identify the weaknesses ng members para maitama. Kasi pag tinama niyo sa isa't isa, mas gaganda yung kanta. 
Okay? Pag napopoint out nyo yung mga mali, dapat dun sa mga tatanggap ng mga uh, criticism, dapat you should take it na mas, you know, mali yung pagloob lang. It's, uh, you know, uh, constructive criticism. Okay? Uh, you always have to be, you know, it's okay to be frank and, you know, kaya lang, dapat you should know how to tell it uh, assertively dun sa mga kabandmates mo. Okay? Uh, being honest sometimes na bring out yung kagandahan ng isang kanta. I think what happened with the fictitious is that, you know, you can see that the notes are very high and then the vocalists are you know, struggling siya eh. But ang ganda ng boses sana. Sana kung nai-adjust natin and then may nag-comment sana na, okay, uh, let's do a retake. You know, let's find a way. Huwag mo lang itaas, ibaba mo. Dapat may mga ganong uh, uh, arguments. No? para mas na paganda pa yung kanta kasi napakaganda ng kanta uh, I like the songwriting, the arrangement may dynamic um, so yun naman yung ano dun eh, yun naman ang ating goal, dapat bago tayo mag-release ng kanta or before we submit an entry, let's make sure that everything is uh, you know well, uh, dapat well rehearsed Okay? So, yun lang ang masasabi ko. There's nothing wrong about it, no? It's just that perhaps it was, uh, you know, at a short period of time, ni-rush lang siya. Okay? So, yun lang talaga yung dapat uh, i-consider natin. Dapat lahat prepared, dapat ni-rehearse bago i-submit. Okay, I would like to say good luck to all of the uh, entries na sumali sa Battle of the Quarantine Bands. Um, nakikita natin yung mga talent nyo. Uh, pag lalo kayong uh, you know, uh, sumasali sa mga competition na ganyan, mas lalo kayo nahahasa, mas nawawala yung kaba. And then, um, you always have to remember that you do this for fun, para less stress siya, hindi kayo ma, you know, hindi nakaka-pressure. Okay? And, um, isa lang sa masasabi ko is the, you, you continue to support uh, OPM. You always have to uh, to uh, to promote OPM, because um, laging merong bagong act na papalit, so dere dere chulang. So ang ibig ko sabihin yan is that para hindi mawala yung chain, don't break the chain. Okay, kung ano sinimula ng mga nao ng banda, sana may ipagpatuloy ng mga bagong generation. So good luck everybody sa contest. Hello, I'm Jeff Bolivar and I'm a uh, judge din dito sa Kai Bongski. And the song na napunta sa akin is Bangon by Highfall. Yan, playing right now sa background. Uh, gusto ko siya kasi yung intense nung, ano, nung banda and maganda yung message ng song. Uh, ano ang pwedeng ma-improve? I think dito sa recording, actually maganda, na, maganda siya, maganda siya. Maganda yung pagka-record nila, pero medyo konting tweak lang siguro nung, ano, ng second voice. And dun sa pagkakanta ni vocalist, sana mas intense pa. Pero, syempre, sa bye-bye lang naman nila ng record. So, uh, mas malamang, pag magkakasama sila, mas intense sila. Mas, mas ramdam mo. Mas galit siguro, or nagigil. And really want to see them, looking forward to see them live. Malamang iba talaga. And good luck sa lahat ng mga sumali. And uh, sana tuloy-tuloy lang sa pag nagawa ng mga kanda and yan, support the PM thank you hello, this is Robert Rivera and this is my comment doon sa kanta ng uh, After Dawn uh, PH uh, I like the song in general simple eight, eight, uh, straight eights rock and roll dun, dun, ba, dun, 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 dun. meron silang kabitan in between meron silang uh, mga pagsakan that, that's really good uh, me as a uh, lead guitar player I like the lead guitar parts simply in this show off at uh, supporting the song in connection yun din keyboard although tahimik lang it's just uh, it's supportive at uh, gusto ko rin yung kanilang uh, singer yun din boses niya wala akong narinig na semplang kung ito ay edited napakaganda ng pagkaka-edit If it's not edited, that's even better kasi kaya niyong kumanta ng uh, songs na uh, hindi siya sumisimple. Okay? So, uh, maganda yung message ng kanta. It's uh, giving us uh, hope 
sa pansigit na ng uh, pandemya at uh, it's uh, really good okay uh, ang take ko lang sana nagkaroon ng mga vocal harmonies kahit dalawa or siguro sa chorus nilagyan ng mga second uh, voice or third voice na magkakaroon mag magkakaroon ng uh, emphasis dun sa more meaningful lines at saka dun sa sa drum parts na yung mag solo drums lang habang uh, uh, nagkukorus yung singer sana kinilagyan na lang ng jarob or make it bigger or something like that. But overall, I like this band. Uh, I like the song. And uh, I hope them the best. Okay, at uh, tuloy-tuloy lang tayo ang aking message sa mga kapwa natin ng musician. Lalo pa yung mga medyo bata pa. <laughs> uh, just keep on going, keep on rocking, be honest to yourself. And uh, darating din ang panahon na may, may enjoy nyo to. This is, uh, this is your moment and this is the journey. So uh, enjoy the journey and rock and roll! Ayan, hello sa Crimson Band. Hello, ako nga pala si Kaloy. Nakita ko sa music nyo, maganda yung maganda yung inyong uh, lyrics and uh, yung voicing nakakainga nyo uh, dapat aralin nyo mabuti kung ano yung trend nung, nung target market nyo kasi ang music eh, meron siyang uh, tinatawag na ano uh, tawag dito mga base audience uh, I suggest na if you want to do this uh, professionally you study your target market and then uh, yun ang tatahakin nyo depende sa market kasi ang, ang business and music uh, market driven eh. Mayan, well, ma in addition uh, uh, mas maganda kung ma sa palagay ko as a business person mas maraming nakakatanggap ng tunog so thank you and uh uh, good luck and uh, so, ingat guys and uh, thank you for participating. Scratch paper. Ang kagandahan sa entry nila, yung chorus nila catchy, yung lyrics nila consistent sa sinasabi. Marunong sila mag-build up ng tension na kagaya nito. So si drummer, alam niya na relax lang siya sa toms kasi puputo sila sa chorus. So, okay yun, okay yun. As a band, nag-work talaga sila. Ngayon, sa improvement, siguro si vocalist practice pa. Oo, kasi ang taas ng energy na hinihingi ng kanta, siya, nakagano pa rin siya. Tsaka, okay naman siya, okay yung singing niya, pero siguro, improve pa natin yung energy. At saka, ang taas ng kanta eh. Yan o. Kapit na! Alam kong lahat! Alam, anana! Taas talaga. Sana, binaba nila ng isa or dalawa, maabot niya yan eh. Tricky lang dyan eh, kapag binaba nila ng konti yung kanta, baka naman sumayad na sa baba yung verse, tapos, eh, medyo magiging malungkot yung kanta. Kung ganyan talagang kaya gusto nila, walang choice si vocalist, kundi abutin talaga yon, Practice talaga yon. Tsaka sa tone ng gitara, siguro konting tapang pa, parang nanghihingi yung kanta ng ganun pa. Kasi sa tapping niya, parang hindi na kumakagat eh. Mas masarap sana yon kung pang lead yung timpla. So, maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga sumali, tsaka good luck sa ating mga finalists. Ipagpatuloy lang natin ang ganto. Ipagpatuloy natin ang paggawa ng musikang tuloy.
kung saan may Pilipino, may Don Benito. Alam mo, ngayon, pag sinabi mong Don Benito, Pilipino ka agad ang lalabas. 2009, we started Don Benito. Uh, it's a gift from my mother-in-law and father-in-law. I have a very good in-laws. Lumaki ako sa Blooming Trip, sa Palengke, ang father and mother ko, sidewalk vendor. So, yung kakanin, nasa kariton. Okay, so yung kariton na yun, uh, masarap, pero hindi siya presentable. Perfectionist ako eh. Gusto ko maayos and execute. Gusto ko maganda yung box. Gusto ko papano yung sistema niyan. Lahat yung mga detalye na yan, talagang uh, chinicheck ko mabuti. A God-centered company creating Filipino delicacies to be enjoyed worldwide. Yan ang pinaka-summary ng mission vision namin sa Don Benito. So parati doon naka-align lahat ng products namin, how we treat our employees, and sasamantayin ko na yung pagkakataon na to. Na kung wala yung mga tao natin, wala kami. Hindi kami uunlan kung wala sila. I'm really, really grateful kay God for everything. He, um, his, he gave me a good staff, a good family, a great husband. Kung mahal mo yung empleyado mo, most probably mamahalin niya rin yung kliyente. Masasabi ko po na malaki na itulong niya sa akin. Kasi uh, yung kapatid ko na pag-aral ko, na pagtapos ko ng kaling, ngayon, yung anak ko naman yung pinag-aaral ko. Ako po uh, magpa-five years na sa September. Tapos uh, nung pumasok po ako dito, uh, bata pa ako. So yung mga napag-aralan ko na hindi ko naman gano talagang natutunan dun sa pinag-aralan ko, baga hindi ko nahasa, dito nahasa ako. Tapos... Uh, dito, nakakatulong ako sa pamilya ko, sa magulang ko. Si Don Binitos, uh, malaking tulong. Una, uh, kung hindi dahil sa kanya, hindi, uh, hindi ako nakapagpatay ng sarili kong bahay. Kung hindi dahil sa kanya, wala ako sa kung nasan ako ngayon. Itchers na po ako sa Don Binito. Tinuruan po ako nila na, na mag-ipon. Hindi di nila kami tinuring na isang empleyado lang na ibang tao. We treat our employees as our customers. Yung mga tao namin, ang advocacy namin is bigyan ng trabaho yung mga high school graduate na hindi makalaban sa formal companies. Kaya lahat halos ng tao namin, high school graduate, and we train them, kinatsaga namin siya, and sinasabi namin, yung ginagawa ng graduate, kaya mo rin gawin, baka kulang ka lang ng confidence. Pinito is not just a company, we're also giving back to the community. Projection namin is, in 10 years, first, we want to be known as the Filipino brand for Filipino delicacies. March 10, we opened our first branch, Mindanao Avenue. Kasaba cake, Filipino yan. Ganyan. Pag sinabi mong pichi pichi, Filipino food yan. Kaloy is really a visionary. Uh, we're aiming go global. Ang mga produkto ng Don Benito ay tunay na panglasang Pilipino. San may Pilipino, may Don Benito. And now presenting... Lanta Ivanza.